Hello dear traders. My name is Lena and these are the main trading ideas for the current trading session. First of all, let's discuss the situation with silver. The silver is trading at $29.50. The main reason why silver is lagging behind gold is low demand. During periods of political uncertainty, investors do not have sufficient free capital and prefer to invest in gold. Market participants are also concerned about the slowdown in the Chinese economy. Thus, in the second quarter, China's gross domestic product grew by 4.7% in annual terms compared with 5.3% in the first quarter, while retail sales in June fell from 3.7% to 2%. Similar weakness was recorded in the industrial sector. Given that silver is heavily used in the industrial sector, the upside potential for silver may be limited in the current environment. Next dollar index. The dollar index is trading near 104. Yesterday, weekly data on the labor market were published. The number of initial applications for unemployment benefits increased by 243,000 against the previous figure of 223,000, while the total number of citizens receiving assistance from the state increased from 1.847 million to 1.867 million. The worsening situation in the market labor increases the likelihood that monetary policy easing will begin in September. In addition, the U.S. Federal Reserve's Beige Book Review, published yesterday, indicates that economic activity is growing at a moderate pace, but businesses expect it to slow down in the next six months amid the U.S. election campaign, geopolitical tensions, and continued inflationary pressure. Against this background, the dollar's decline may continue and finally pound against the dollar. The pair is consolidating near 1.295. The focus of investors' attention is on the May labor market statistics. Thus, unemployment remained at 4.4%, employment increased by 19,000 instead of the expected 18,000, while the average wage level, taking into account bonuses, slowed down from 5.9% to 5.7%, remaining significantly above the target level. In addition, previously published June data showed an increase in the consumer price index in annual terms by 2% and the core indicator by 3.5%, which reduces the likelihood of a revision of interest rates by the Bank of England. Now, most experts believe that officials will abandon easing monetary policy no earlier than the fall. Against this background, the British currency retains the potential for growth. So, these are the main trading ideas for now. Thank you for your attention and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.